What's up guys, it's Jim with Awaken TCG, bringing you guys a video today on Starter Deck 13, which is going to be the Three Brothers deck, going to be coming out on April 19th of 2024, which is going to be a little under three weeks. It is going to be the first meta shakeup we get of OP06 before EB01. I'd say OP06 is, for the most part, um, pretty much figured out. Uh, everybody knows... You know, it's basically Sakazuki, Moria, and then Katakuri. Those those are our top three. And then you have a little bit of sprinkles of Reiju, Yamato, etc. We'll be making a tier list a bit in the future now that we've gotten enough tournament uh, results. And we will go over that and give a really detailed um, tier list. Only with the top decks this time though, but... Let's talk about SC13 because that is what we are here to talk about today. So this one, if you guys don't know, as I said, April 19th, it will be releasing. And just like ST10, the three captains, um, it's going to have all holographic cards. So every single card in here is going to be shiny, fantastic. And it will be going for an MSRP of $35, which I think is actually more than ST10. I think SC10 was 30 bucks. But this one, the reason you're paying $5 more is because this one is going to include a bonus pack in every single starter deck. And that pack is going to have three cards. Um, basically, three cards that are already in the deck, except they're going to be alternative art. Basically, it's just going to be, like, think a black and white version, almost like the OPO3 leaders of, of, these, of any card in this deck. So, it's going to be a really, really cool deck. Uh, a lot of bank for your buck. Um, but what I'm here to talk about today is how much impact I think these leaders are going to have on our metagame. So, for starters, I think the best deck by far is going to be Black Yellow Luffy. Um, let's go ahead and actually look at our stats here. So, out of... This is in Japan. The Japanese format, OP06, Wings of the Captain. This was their OP06. And through all of it, they had three of the ace leader wins and five of the luffy and saba wins was actually find pretty interesting but i think the sc13 luffy wins were actually a bit more notable and let's go ahead and check out a few deck lists here so this is going to be our blue and yellow ace leader this is the leader i'm most excited about um the leader just looks a lot of fun let's go over the leader effect if you guys have not seen it yet it's going to be blue and yellow leader, our second blue and yellow leader after queen. And this one's going to read Dawn X2, activate main once per turn. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Add a one five cost character, specifically five cost, this is not five cost or lower, to the top of your life face up. Then place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. So that seems insane. Dawn X2, you're just healing yourself. But then it's going to be end of turn. All your face-up life cards are going to be trashed. So if you do not do something with that face-up life card, it's going to go away for free. So the good thing about this deck is we run all these five-cost characters like Sabo, Ace, Luffy. The 2k Satoris just double as a 2k and a five-cost that we can search out with leader. And then we have ways to basically utilize these cards with the, um, the brothers that are going to bring them out. Um, the Hiori can literally take that card we just healed and turn it into an actual card like we can put a Sanji's Pilaf there as you see we're running four Sanji's Pilaf mostly to do that to basically get a free heal and a draw two at the same time really strong combo but yeah this deck looks like a whole lot of fun I enjoy Queen very much but Queen's a bit bricky I think this one's going to be a bit more consistent and a lot of fun so made a video on this a uh, little bit earlier in the year um, if you guys want to check that one out that was a lot of fun and I think this is going to be a great list to play Next up here, we've got red and um, yellow Sabo. So I think this leader is the one I've seen the least of, or I may just be the least interested, but I honestly don't know what this leader can do as much as the other two. Uh, and honestly, I don't think it, it, it gets talked about as much, but that doesn't mean it's not strong. So this one's leader effect is gonna be Dawn X1, activate main once per turn. You can add one of your cost three or higher characters with 7,000 power or higher to the top of your life face up. And then give up to one of your characters plus 2k until the start of your next turn. So for one, you get to heal and then also buff something for 2k um, until the start of the next turn. So 
I mean, the value for one Dawn is insane. Obviously, this is a very, very specific effect. It is locked to three or higher only that are at 7K or more. So usually if it is a three cost, uh, it's gonna have to have a few Dawn attached um, or something like that. But then the free 2K buff is just an insane effect on that. So this is gonna be a pretty much all aggro trigger deck. Kind of think of it like Bello Betty, if you guys know how that deck works. Um, it's kind of funny enough, the leader colors are exactly the same. It's gonna be red and yellow. And we're basically just going to be playing cards like Okiku, Neko, um, other trigger cards, and then the uh, the brothers that you can bring out of life. Um, the main combos you're going to want to do in this deck are going to be have Ace on board, swing with Ace. Then you basically use Leader Effect, put this Ace to, to life, buff something else. Let's say it's a, an Okiku, we swing eight with Okiku. And then we play the Sabo uh, two costs out here, bring the Ace back out again from life that we just put in, um, which is gonna buff our leader by 2K. So then we swing eight with leader and another seven with this Ace. All for, I think a total of three Dawn if Ace is already on board. So very, very powerful effect. Not to mention it, your, your Okiku remains at 8K for the next turn and all, your Sabo remains at 7K. So these are really, really strong effects that are coming with this deck. And I think this is going to be one of the decks that people are the least prepared for. Kind of like how they were with Bello Betty uh, back when OPO5 came out. So if you want to have a lot of fun, you like aggro decks, I think out of the three leaders, this is the one to go to for you. Fortunately, all of them are pretty playable in their own right. So last but not least here, let's get into the most competitive deck in my opinion. It's going to be Black and Yellow Luffy, our second Black and Yellow leader since Charlotte Lin Lin in OPO3. So... This one gonna read, by rules, your face up life cards will be sent to the bottom of the deck instead of your hand. So basically, if you ever have a face up life card and your opponent attacks you, that face up life card will not go to your hand. It'll go right to the bottom of your deck. So it does not build your trash. It just goes to the bottom of the deck. So you do not want that life to be taken really ever. But it is a free heal, so let's see what this does. It's gonna be Dawn X2, activate main once per turn, exactly like Ace. You may discard one card from your hand. So you're gonna to have to discard for this leader effect, very similar to the Charlotte and Lynn leader effect. And then if your life is at zero, it has to be at zero specifically, you may add up to two cards with the cost of five from your hand to your uh, from your hand or trash to your life face up. So pretty much with this deck. You have one combo, and basically one combo, <laughs> it's going to be this five cost Sabo right here. Um, basically, the plan is we attach two to leader, we put two of these guys in life, and then with our remaining eight Dawn, we play out a eight cost Moria, bringing out these two cost Sabos on the board. You can bring, actually bring two of them, and then activate both of their effects getting a double five cost Sabo on board. So if we're going against black, um, your whole board won't be able to be KO'd. You'll be a 9K leader because we activated Sabo twice. Sure, you'll be at zero life, but you're gonna be a 9K and you'll also have double Sabo on board. I think the only way that's gonna be like scary and your opponent like having any chance of lethaling you is going to be if they're playing red and they have um, the unblockable event or say an unblockable Luffy. But even then, they're gonna have to commit a lot of Dawn because you're gonna be a 9k leader. And pretty much the plan is you just rinse and repeat, right? Because if your opponent attacks, I mean, you could just give them Sabo twice, they go to the trash. Um, these Sabos put themselves in the trash when you activate their effects. So pretty much you're gonna be able to cycle this every turn as long as you have these Gecko Morias out. So pretty linear deck from what I've seen. Um, I don't know how much fun this leader is going to be. It definitely like has a really unique play style, and I think it's very interesting. But I don't know how much I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I know in OPO7, this leader is actually like top three. It's like one of the top three. So if you're looking to get into a deck and um, you're already interested in this deck, I would I would throw your chips into this deck. This, this deck's going to be great, um, even up into the next set. So really, really fun leader there. And that is going to be our final leader we go over. So... Let me know in the comments, guys, what ST13 leader are you guys most excited for? As for me, I'm going to have to go with the blue and yellow ace. Really, really uh, going to be dying these next two weeks waiting for this deck to come out. Um, and uh, really want this alt art leader because um, 
if you didn't know, uh, the leaders also have alt arts. And those uh, packs I mentioned at the start, um, these right here, these bonus packs, the leaders are included. So these are one of the only starter deck leaders in the game that you can actually get an alt art for. So I think that's really cool, and I think it's a really fun idea that they added. But um, again, if you guys are looking forward to SC13, let me know. Let me know what leader you're looking forward to, and I'm going to head out of here. Peace.